If you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock, that you know, you know, he'll turn up at seven o'clock. Okay, but if you tell the friend we are meeting at seven o'clock Can you trust him? Mira vekti namacha? No. Namale enka dandi? And what you do is you tell him we meet at 6 o'clock. Kani kala vaayana ke yeptha unte mana aaru inti kalusukundamo antam. Because you know he's going to show up late. Ne telusu aaya etla na ganta late ku vastaru correct ga samayani ga mana aaya anukuna mana anukuna samayani ku vastaru. But you see in our walk with God. Kani mana nadaka devunito mana nadiche kattu ki nadakana mana gamaninchinatlaite. God will show himself to be a God that can be trusted. Devudu mari manavaliki ela thanu thanu pratikshapatchukuntadante mana aayana paina aadharapadagaliginatvanti vaaru aa thanu thanu aneka maaru rujju chestu vastunnadu. You know the Bible tells us that Jacob when he was old he leaned on his shepherd's staff. మరి ఎప్పుడైతే మరి యాకోబ్ మరి ఆయన ఒరుతునగా ఉంటున్నప్పుడు ఆయన యొక్క కర్రపై ఆయన ఆడుకున్నారంటండి and there's something about the shepherds of israel మరి కాపరికి మరి ఇస్రాయేల్ దేశంలో ఉన్న కాపరికి ఒక ప్రాధాన్యత ఉంది they all have a shepherd staff వారందరికీ కూడా మరి కర్ర గుడ్డ కర్ర మరి వారికి తోడగా ఉంటుంది and this shepherd staff is very important to them కనుక ఈ యొక్క గుడ్డ కర్ర అనేది వాళ్ళకి చాలా ప్రాముఖ్యం because they don't just need it to help to shepherd the flock మరి కేవలం ఆ యొక్క గొర్రెలను మరి కాయడానికి వాటిని ఒక దగ్గర తీసుకురావడానికి వాటి మాత్రమే కాదు గాని but in israel the shepherd staff is like a personal diary మరి ఈ యొక్క ఈ యొక్క కాపరియత ఉన్నటువంటి దుండు దుండు కర్ర వారికి వాని నడిపించేది ఒక ఆధారపడేదిగా ఉంటుంది ప్రియలారా because every time something important happens in the life of a shepherd ఎందుకంటే ఈ వాల్ మేక్ అ మార్క్ ఆన్ ద షెపర్డ్ స్టాఫ్ ఎందుకంటే ఈ వారి తన జీవితంలో ఎప్పుడైతే ఈ యొక్క కాపరి జీవితంలో ప్రాముఖ్యమైనటువంటి సంగతి ఈ సందర్భమున ఆయన అనుభవిస్తున్నాడో ఆ సమయంలో తన దుడ్డుకల పైన ఆయన ఒక గుర్తు ఏర్పాటు చేసుకుంటున్నాడు సో ఇట్ ఇస్ ఫస్ట్ చైల్డ్ ఇస్ బోర్న్ ఒకవేళ మొట్టమొదటిగా తన కుమారుడు కలిగిన కలిగాడు అనుకోండి యు మేక్ అ మార్క్ మరి అక్కడ మరి తన గుర్తు పెట్టుకుంటాడు దుడ్డుకల పైన అండ్ ఇమేజిన్ జేకబ్ మరి ఆలోచించండి యాకోబు ఓ ద థింగ్స్ హి హాస్ ఫర్ హిస్ నా మరి అతన జీవితం అంతట్లో కూడా ఆయన ఆధారపడుతూ వచ్చాడు then you make a mark and you look at the mark and says wow this is a time and you do aneka with me aneka adbhutamainatundi sandarbhalu aina anubhavistu vachadu devuni kalusukunna sandarbhalu unnai kanaka aina santoshanga naamlo devu nenu devuni kalusukunna sandarbham ani gurtu pettukuntu vachadu and so when the bible says that jacob was leaning on his staff kanaka bible selavistundi yakob thana dundukara paina aalukunnadu ani what what is happening is jacob is looking at all the things that god has done in his life but he chaya ka prayer jarugutu There was a time when Jacob remembered he was not a very good person. మరి ఒక సమయం ఉండింది తన జీవితంలో ఆయన మంచివాడగా లేడండి ఆ సమయంలో. He cheated his brother. ఆయన తన సహోదరుని మోసం చేశాడు. He cheated his father. ఆయన తండ్రిని మోసం చేశాడు. Yet God was faithful to him. కానీ అయినప్పటికీ దేవుడు తన జీవితంలో నమ్మదగిన దేవుడుగా ఉంటున్నాడు. There was a time when he thought his brother is coming to kill him. మరి ఒక సందర్భంలో మరి తన సహోదరుడు ఆయన చంపడానికి వస్తూ ఉన్నాడు. But yet God delivered నేను నమ్మదగిన దేవుని సేవిస్తున్నాను నా జీవితంలో ఈ దేవుడు ఎంత నమ్మదగిన వాడుగా ఉంటున్నాడు అని 
who is saying I can trust God. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you this, that you can trust God. Because the nature of life is that life has got storms. Life is not always smooth sailing. You will face difficulties in your work. Your, your families will face difficulty back in India. You will have problems with visa. You will have problems with employer. But I want to say this to you that you can trust God. You can make God your stronghold. You know, two years ago, you know, I, I got three sons, three boys. Uh, Aaron Samuel David. Aaron Samuel David. And uh, two years ago, uh, my old, oldest son Aaron was going to exams. But he was not doing too well for and I, I studied with him. I scolded him. I told him that he has to get good results. And he became very stressed. And I became very stressed. So I prayed and I asked God. You know, the amazing thing is God began to speak to me. In fact, God showed me his exam results. And when God showed me the exam results, it was not very good results. I saw that this exam is going to sit for, he's not going to do well for exams. But the amazing thing is God, you know, just spoke to me about trusting him. God spoke to me that my son's life is in his head. In fact, God showed me that he had a plan for my son's life. He showed me at what age this boy Aaron will begin to start to know God. You know, in fact, God showed me that last year, you know, He showed me that last year, my son will get filled with the Holy Spirit. In December, God baptized him in the Holy Spirit. But you know, what God showed me was that I could trust Him. Sure enough, when the results came up, exactly the score I saw came up. We had the same score. But even though we got that score, I'm not worried. I'm not anxious anymore. Because I know he's in God's hands. I know I have a God that I can trust. And his plans for me are good. His plans for my children are good. And I know that the plans that God has for you are good. And I want to encourage you from this place and get me. David made God his stronghold. Tonight is Thanksgiving. We thank God because we have seen how God is faithful. And He'll continue to be faithful. And 
And I want to tell you that as we celebrate Thanksgiving, it is also that we celebrate the fact that we can continue to trust God. And we want to make God our stronghold. You know, another thing about Endgame. Endgame is a place that we can qualify for the greater things of God. Because in 1 Samuel chapter 24, David was in Endgame. And David had a chance to kill his enemy, King Saul. But David did not. Because David feared God. And David said this, he says, I will not touch God's anointing. You know, David did not do anything wrong. But Saul persecuted David. But David never took revenge on Saul. When David was shown evil, David turned around and showed good to Saul. You see, that is how we qualify for the greater things of God. You know, if you read 1 Samuel 24 at the end of the chapter, you know, the Spirit of God came upon King Saul. And King Saul prophesied about David. And he said to, to David, he said, Surely God will make you king over all Israel. You see, David was in a place of being tested at Engedi. And David passed the test and therefore God promoted him. You know, I would, uh, you know, all of us, most all of us, we don't like tests. Is that Test is stressful. When we go for a test, we are trembling. But you know, when God gives a test, it's different from when the world gives a test. Bible tells us this, that God will not permit us to be tested beyond what we can bear. In other words, God only tests us when He knows that we are ready to pass the test. Do you know why God gives tests in our lives? God gives tests to us because what He's going after is the promotion that comes after the test. 